offense again today, but I kind of wanted to talk about the plate discipline and the approaches to the at bats because after the third inning, you guys only had four hits on the 12 rounds. So, what did you just think about what they're seeing, what they're looking to find today? Just yeah, yeah. Well, I, I give Coach Williams a lot of credit. He just told our guys for us to be a good offense, we have to be able to control the strike zone better offensively, and that and when we do that, more runs will come. It's really hard to hit your way to a lot of runs. So. The fact that our hitters did that, I think we had seven walks and two strikeouts. Yeah. That was big. And you know what? Our guys to hold their ground. The HBPs were big, that's just, right? I, I mean, Matthew. Six, so. Yeah, Ma Matthew Goldo all by himself had three. <laughs> Takes tremendous courage, but that's how you score runs: the walks, the HBPs, and you get your hits, which we had some of too. <laughs> talking about that third inning, I mean, you last. I remember last night you were talking about just like mental mistakes. Like some of the plays that you know should be getting cleaned up, you say well, you've been playing cleaner the past couple of days, but uh, especially in the third, I mean, you go from an error in left field from Trey, and then you go to a balk from Hazelwood. It ended up like and you ended up top of the third, four, two before the big inning. Like, where are some of those mistakes you saw and kind of cost you three runs there? Yeah, just too many free bases, right? Like, way too many free bases. But the, the, the positive to draw from that is. You guys know me. I like to see the good in things, right? Like, yeah, we do that, and then we come back and score 10. I thought both times they scored, we scored right after. You know what I mean? And if you think about sometimes a, a baseball game like a boxing match, you're going to throw punches, you're going to throw some crazy punches, and you're not going to land the ones you want sometimes, and you're going to make mistakes. And uh, sure, we, we got to clean some of that up. Um, and we haven't played that clean, crystal clean game yet. I'm, like, waiting for our team to do that. But I was really proud of the way we responded. They scored three, we scored 10. They, sc You know what I mean? So we got to keep doing that. If our team can respond like that, that'll that'll be a good sign. What do you think of your relief pitching today? Because it seemed like everyone came in, did their job pretty well, kept, us, kept zero on the scoreboard. Yeah, I thought Zach Lee was in complete control. That was big. Um, in total control. Field his position, moved the game along. He threw, would he throw three? Three innings, shut out baseball, moved the game along. I thought that was good. And I was, I was really impressed with Will Gambino to come in and we had a nice play at second base with Zeke Lewis, nice play at shortstop, nice play at third base when he stepped, like he got everyone involved, he moved the game along and then Ron Cole steps in for his second outing, had a good crisp clean inning. So um, I thought our bullpen did a really good job. Tonight. 13 strikeouts today, what were some things you're seeing from the pitching staff that, you know, going forward, do you think it will be a crucial help going into SEC play? Landing multiple pitches for a strike. That's been key, not just one pitch. And when we're able to do that and land multiple pitches in the zone, obviously that's been good. And uh, they got good stuff. We got good stuff, and they just got to trust it. And some guys are starting to do that, so that's good. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.